All right, guys, welcome back to another video. It's your man, Jay, and this is a discussion video. So if you don't like discussion videos, feel free to click off and check out some of the other videos I have on the Cloud Silver Galaxy Note 9. With that disclaimer out of the way, let's just talk about this. All right, so in previous videos, you guys know that I had I purchased the copper version of this phone, and it was the Exynos model, which isn't officially uh, you know, made to work in the U.S., even though it has a, several of the U.S. bands, and it worked fine for me over LTE. I ran speed tests. I've done everything. Uh, but for some reason, I'm going to start where you guys wanted me to start, which is battery life. You guys, I've gotten so many messages about how is the battery life? Is it different? This phone right here is definitely getting different battery than the, than the copper Exynos version. Um, I, I just, I, I, I think it's going to be a heck of a lot better with this Snapdragon version. Thankfully, I was able to get a different color than the blue or lavender. The blue with the yellow S pen, it's just not, it's way too flashy for me for a phone. I think just pulling out, if it would have been a blue pen all the way through, I, I would have liked that. Uh, but this pen right here is nice and subtle. Pretty much the same color as the phone. Really like it. It's really nice. Just my preference. Now the phone itself, um, battery life has been better. I'm getting possibly about an hour more, and I'm sure I'm, sure I'm going to get more than that once I continue to use this phone, because I'm going to eventually take off apps that are just idle and I just don't need them, because I don't want apps running uh, resources that I, I could be using for the phone for other stuff. But this is the 6 gig model with 128 gigs internal storage with the Snapdragon 845 that I purchased directly from Samsung.com. Uh, they gave me a free camera with it. If you would have gotten it from Best Buy, shout out to Will H. You got the free Samsung TV. People clown LG, but Samsung giving away TVs with the Galaxy Note 9, man. So, hey, mm, I don't, I don't think I would have used the TV, but and I think Will H said he's giving his away too. Uh, but the 360 camera is not something I plan on. I, I, I cracked the seal. I didn't crack the seal on it. I put it on Twitter and said, hey, it's for sale. So shoot me an offer. Uh, if you want to buy the 360 camera, retail is $229. Shoot me a reasonable offer and I might sell it to you. Uh, so, but battery life. Once again, it's greatly improved. An hour more, an hour to an hour and a half more over what I was getting on the Exynos version is good enough for me. I've sold off my Galaxy Note 9, a Galaxy Note 9 copper version, and I've also sold off the Galaxy Note 8. So I basically just took those funds and you know, obviously I had a little bit more and got this one right here. Once I saw this color, I was like, oh, I'm glad I sold uh, first the copper one. I had the copper one for like three weeks or something like that. Got rid of that one. And then I sat on the Note 8. And then once the Note 8, I see something told me, I was like, man, I'm just going to sell the Note 8. And they're offering double trade-in, uh, but they're only offering 500 for this, uh, uh, 500 off the phone for a Galaxy Note 8. And I wasn't comfortable doing a trade-in. So I said, I'm going to go on Craigslist, and I'm going to go just sell it that way. And I sold it for about 450 I think it was. So I could, I could live with that because even though, you know, it probably would be a successful trade-in, I didn't want to take the risk of trading in. And then, you know, because the fine print on that trade-in, minimum 25 bucks, and you don't get your phone back. I couldn't run the risk. So I'd rather get the cash in hand, put it in my account, then go swipe and get this bad boy. And, you know, take the 450 off of that. You know what I'm saying? So... Uh, but overall, folks, the experience on here has been different. Now, there are some things that I noticed getting into the phone. The, the intelligence scan, it does not work very well in bright light, bright setting. Like sunlight, I have a huge problem with it opening up um, fast like it is in a darker situation. Um, I found that the iris scanner is really fast. It's the fastest of them all. And the fingerprint reader is the, to me, the fingerprint reader is the fastest way to get in the phone. Uh, because if you're holding the phone like this, oh yeah, you can you can hold it up and light the screen up, but you have to light the screen up. And I remember I, if I remember correctly in the Note 8 when you raise it up, I, maybe I got to turn that feature back on. The screen would come on when it felt the motion of me raising the phone, and then it would just open up when I look at it. The intelligence scan on the Note 8 was a lot faster than the Note 9 in my experience. So I might go back to using just the fingerprint reader because it's in the right spot now. Like that's the right spot. You know what I'm saying? So. That's something that they really should have done, but we're not going to beat that horse up. It's in the right spot, so I might switch to using the fingerprint reader instead of the intelligence scan. Because I, I don't like doing this right here in the sun, trying to get it, you know what I'm saying? So, I might just switch back to using the fingerprint reader. That's been probably the only gripe so far of me doing this right here. 
uh, with the Galaxy Note 9. I mean, using this, that's probably been my only gripe. That's That's gotta been the only thing. If I can complain about something right now, it's going to be that the intelligence scan is a little off. And I, it, it, I don't know if you remember in the unboxing video, go check that out if you haven't. I definitely, it wouldn't even set up. It said that the iris scanner or the finger, the thing up front was dirty. And I'm cleaning it like, what the heck, man? What's going on with this? Other than that, it on my other Galaxy Note 9, had a great experience. But the, <laughs> I think that some people felt like I didn't like the Note 9 and they took those videos and ran with it, man. You guys... I appreciate all that traffic y'all gave me though. Thank you very much. Applause for you. All y'all people who came in saying, oh, you're dumb for getting ready. You came though. At least you came over to the video. I appreciate you stopping by because you just rewarded me with so much traffic to that video. Uh, I appreciate it. And that, that was kind of for the haters right there. They came through and told me I was dumb. You know, you shouldn't do it. And then the, <laughs> those people are still hanging around. I thought you said you hated it. I thought you wasn't getting no more. People who follow me know absolutely well that I never said I hated the Galaxy Note 9 and I wasn't getting it again. You guys got to learn to follow videos, man, before you start trying to hate and, and just don't even bother. This phone right here was good the last time I had it and it's still exceptional this time. Period. I, I'm, I, I've always used the S Pen. Um, I've told you guys in other videos that Smart Select is my favorite feature of the S Pen. Oh, man. I use that with so much stuff, man, to write on stuff. And it's not just for social media. Like, I literally use that and tell people, go here. I'll be here. And, you know, they, they need a visual. So I can take photos and drop them in there and put a map or something in it, too. Right on top of it. Send it off to them in a message or email. So sweet. Now, there, obviously, there's more to the S Pen than that. But um, I'm telling you, the S Pen, the, uh, the, the smart function, I'm going to turn this volume on. The smart, the smart select is my favorite. I mean, my favorite, favorite function. I love it. I love it. I wanted to do like a different uh, kind of video with this, but I think I've covered so much on the Galaxy Note 9 the first time. The, the battery was my really on my only gripe, but now it's my, my intelligence scan. But other than that, folks, this is a Galaxy Note 9. Some people say, you know, oh, you know, it's the best in the world. If you feel like that, that's how you feel. I don't feel like there's, when people say this, oh, it's future-proof. How can a smartphone be future-proof? It could be set for a couple of years. If you don't upgrade a lot, then, okay, I don't know. I think it's, just, it's just a, some people think things are future-proof because they're still looking at specs. None of these smartphones are future-proof. Come on, folks. All they have to do is, check, what if they take away the USB Type-C port and make all phones wireless charging? Then what are you going to say? <laughs> Those phones without it are future proof? No, it's no such thing, man. The technology changes like every two to three months. There's something else coming, you know what I'm saying? And the Galaxy Note is a com one of the most complete phones. But again, remember, complete, best, top dog, uh, best battery, best cameras, all in the eyes of the beholder. I've taken photos against certain phones and I say, well, I really like this better. Like when I put the my GoPro against the uh, iPhone XS Max, a lot of you guys said, Jay, what are you talking about? The GoPro is bent. And I'm, I'm looking at these comments like, what the heck are they talking about? It's bent. That's because it's on wide angle. What are you talking about? I could have put it on linear. I wanted to do it at 4K 30 FPS on that to show you guys that's what it looks like. Some I said the GoPro did better. It had better stabilization. I thought it looked better. And, and the thing is, when you're viewing it over your phone or computer, it's probably never going to look as good as me and you standing outside looking at it ourselves or looking at it without loading to YouTube and looking at the actual raw footage. You understand what I'm saying? It's going to look better. Now, I'm tempted to put this phone against the GoPro Hero 7 Black because I really like the I shoot, man, I shoot so many videos with that dog on camera. When I don't want to fire up this DSLR, it's the GoPro Hero 7. I told you. And this phone right here, I think it's probably going to have, uh, I don't know, I'm going to reserve judgment until I decide to do it. But the Galaxy Note 9, I like it, man. I liked it before, and I'm, I'm so happy to have, be back in the house with the Galaxy Note 9 because the 10R is coming. I'm definitely, or depending on when you're watching this, I already have the 10R, and I might even put it up against this phone. But the recording of this video, it's like the middle of October, and I really feel like the 10 hour is going to be a win, but getting back to the Galaxy Note 9, this is a good phone. 
this is a this is an extreme this thing unlocks fast man now that i'm trying to not have it unlock it's unlocking I, that's so strange uh but this thing is good man and to a lot of people it's a complete phone i don't disagree with you this is a complete phone top dog king but the first time i bought it man the battery was not to my standards so i'm really hoping that this one stays up and if it doesn't do too well i'll pop on this zero limit every now and then uh, and just plug it up. I've got fast chargers all over the place. I don't like to, I'm not, here's a fun fact, I don't like to plug in at all. What I do with, at night sometimes, the rare times that I charge, I'll use a battery pack because the battery pack automatically cuts itself off. The phone will be at 100 and then when I wake up or whatever, um, the, if the phone made it to 100 like early on, it, it might have lost two to four percent or something like that, yeah. That's the way I like to do it overnight. I don't use wireless charger because I posted a, a thread online in several places saying, how do you charge at night if you charge at night? Wireless or you plug in or a battery pack. And a lot of people said that they use wireless and, and they plug in. Uh, but that's a little tip for you guys. If you want to have your phone, because some people are saying, oh, you shouldn't run it overnight. It's not going to do anything, man. Um, anything, anything can happen. But in most cases, your phone is just going to charge and then it'll trickle charge. What will happen in some cases, depending on if it's, if it's a smart charger, it shouldn't do that. It shouldn't drop down and keep going back up to 100. It should just shut off, which is why I like to use a smart charge fast charger. And I like to plug it in that way if I decide to do that. It shuts it off. And it won't start recharging just because the phone's dropping in battery. You understand? So, the experience on here, man, it's, it's perfect to me. It's Well, I shouldn't say perfect. It's much better than many phones I have. I think Samsung software could still use some work. And you say, well, Jay, how does it need some work? Well, I've got phones that I've purchased. For example, the Vivo Next S with the same internals. And it gets double the battery life that this gets and lasts longer. It's about optimization. Even though Samsung Experience has been thinned out, you need to thin it out some more. You got to. We can still have the S Pen Suite on a stock Android phone. I gave you a moment of silence, <laughs> Samsung. You, you can, it's possible. It's totally possible. The S Pen Suite is a part of Samsung Experience. You can strip that off. You can put it on some stock stuff. You got it. Even if you, if you don't want to do stock, strip down as much as you can, man. Free up any resources that you need to give us. Because the experience on here is solid, but it still could be a heck of a lot better. Because this is an awesome device, man. So this is your man, Jay Will. Quick update on some things about how I feel about the Galaxy Note 9 with the Snapdragon version. It's fire, man. It was fire the first time. It's now just, it's just really on fire now with the Snapdragon 845 version. That's how it is. I need more footage, more coverage. Look for my uh, case video on my best cases and tempered glass and stuff. I did it for the 10s Max, and now I'm going to do it for this one for you guys, too. So it might already be up. Uh, so check my channel to see if it's already released. But if not, we're going to fade out. We're going to do it like we always do.